Welcome to Excel Basics number two. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, in number two here, we want to talk about keyboard shortcuts. Very important for speed and efficiency. Now, keyboard shortcuts like if I click in, I'm on the sheet tab, what is Excel? And I'm clicking in A6, Control C is copy. I click here, Control V. I click in this cell right here, I Control X, and I click right, which is cut, and then I click right here and I Control V. Now these those keyboard shortcuts are very important, and some people use them, some people don't. But I want to talk about the Alt keyboard shortcuts and then a couple spectacular keyboard shortcuts that can really save an immense amount of time. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for undo. Control Z, Z, that undid it twice. Control Z is an escape got rid, escape got rid of the dancing ants there. What I want to talk about is the Alt keyboard shortcuts, and these existed uh, in earlier versions of Excel too. Now I want to look at, I want to print this out, but I need to do some page set out. Now before I can uh, do page setup, I see, need to look and see what it looks like when I print it out. Well in 2007 you go to the orb and then print and then print preview. Notice it says Control F2 there. Very important, 2007 keyboard shortcuts are in screen tips. Now that Control F2 works in earlier versions too. Uh, print Preview was under the File menu in earlier versions. I'm going to try that. Control F2. And sure enough, there it is. That's Print Preview. Now I can already see um, it's already got a lot of page setup here. It's got some headers and footers, which we'll talk about later. But what I like to do is increase the size. I'm going to click um, Escape. That gets you out of uh, Print Preview. And I want to get to the page layout and then the page setup in um, ribbons. There's um, ribbons, and then there's groups, and there's dialog launches, which give you the old dialog box. So if I click here, I get Page Setup. Now in earlier versions, page setup was on the in the file menu. Now I'm going to close this because that's something I do all the time, and we want to learn about the Alt keyboard shortcuts. Now just hit Alt. In 2007, I see there's an H for Home and N for Insert a P. If you're in 2000 and Three, when you hit Alt, you see F for File Menu. Now watch this. I know I need to go to the uh, page layout. And by the way, in 2003, you don't see a screen tip of an F. You see the underlined F. Now in 2003, you go F, and then it shows you the File Menu, and then you see uh, Page Setup. For us in 2007, you hit the P. Now watch what happens in 2007. Now there's an SP there, meaning that'll launch that. So I'm going to hit SP. By the way, in 2003, the keyboard shortcut for page setup is Alt F U, because you'll see an underlying U. That used to be my favorite keyboard shortcut. So there it is. Now I'm going to close this. And the first 10 times you do it, you have to look slowly. Alt, and then see the P and hit the P, and then see the SP and hit the SP. But after about the 10th time, if this is something you do all the time, you just go Alt PSP, and there it is. That is so much faster in the long run the, uh, than going up here and clicking this and then clicking that. And those Alt keyboard shortcuts, you learn them for the things that you do all the time. And so that's one of the biggest time savers there is, and it works in uh, earlier versions and this version. Now. I want to show you a couple more uh, keyboard shortcuts that are very important. I'm going to click on rows and columns, and I want to scroll down. Notice if I have a, a, a vertical scroll bar, I can do that. If I have a roller ball on my mouse, I can just roll it. By the way, another keyboard shortcut that's awesome, and this works in 2000 and in all the versions, or 2007, 3, 2, 1, etc. If you hold Control and roll your mouse, it's a zoom. Now look at that. What's great about that is that works in Word and PowerPoint and Internet Explorer and everything. So control and roll. Everyone in 2007 likes this new scroll here thing there, but forget that. If you if you you already have your hand on the mouse, you can just roll and and hold control. But I want to 
not hold control and actually just roll and go down here. What we have is a big long series of numbers. This keyboard shortcut is going to jump to the end of the numbers. Now sometimes you have these huge columns of numbers and you're scrolling, you're scrolling, you don't, you know, you don't know where to stop. There's a quick way to get to the bottom of a group a column of numbers. Hold control and then you got to find your arrow keys, the down arrow. And there it is, the last one. Try control up arrow. And um, so that's a quick way to get to the top and the bottom. Another great keyboard shortcut is Control Home. That goes to A1. Now, I'm going to try the Control Down Arrow where there's nothing in the column. Try it, Control Down Arrow. Whoa, 65,536. That's because I have the extension .xls. If you're in 2007 and you have .xls X or M, this will be uh, a million forty eight thousand five hundred seven hundred and something so a lot more uh, rows I'm gonna control up arrow and let's try control left arrow IV that's 256 because I have the extension dot XLS this is 16,000 something something in 2007 control home now um, that's a great way to navigate through your spreadsheet when you have big tables of data. But I want to introduce one other keyboard shortcut, and then I'm going to show you the best use for that control trick ever. Now, let's click right here. And before you click in this cell, hold Shift. And when you click here, it highlights everything in between. Now, let's combine tricks. We're going to use the Control, Shift, and Click, but I'm going to use, try that Control, Down arrow. Now watch. Control, Down arrow goes down, Control, Up arrow. But watch this. Hold Control and Shift, and then hit the Down arrow. Boom! Instantly, you've highlighted. That is a profound trick. Now you can instantly highlight a column or a row of data using whichever arrow you want, and then quickly format. For example, I'm going to control F1 to show my home. I'm going to show the ribbons. I'm going to click on home. And I'm going to go to borders and say all. And then I'm going to click uh, the, the bucket of paint fill color. And I'm going to click more colors and then some really light color. And then click OK. So again, control shift down arrow. Now let's do even better. I'm going to control. Let's do even better. Let's learn a keyboard shortcut for the auto sum. Now we haven't even done a formula yet, but this is the best keyboard shortcut I know ever. And it involves adding up a column of data. Now, we on the home ribbon, uh, there's uh, the sum button. In 2003, the sum button's on the standard toolbar. And you click it, and it will put a formula. There's an equal sign, and then SUM, which means sum function, and it's adding. Okay, so that that's good in itself because then you can you know highlight this many right here with your highlight cursor and hit enter and it, it adds them up. Okay, but I'm going to click here and delete. We want to learn the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. There's a keyboard shortcut in 2007. Keyboard shortcuts are awesome because um, a lot of them are in the screen tips. You can see right there it says Alt equals. By the way, um, if you point to this uh, cut, you see the Control X. If you um, uh, point to uh, this one, you see Alt equals. And so if um, these any of these icons have screen keyboard shortcuts, they'll show you in the screen tip. So we're going to use Alt equals. Alt equals, so that um, is trying to add up. But notice the dancing ants are marching around this. If I hold Control and Shift and Down Arrow, it works for formulas too. And then I hit Enter. I have to scroll up a little bit to see, and just like that, there is the most amazing keyboard shortcut there is. Con uh, Alt equals for auto sum, and Control Shift Down Arrow to highlight a range for a formula. I'm going to click Escape, and I'll see you next video. But hey, wait a second. Excel is fun. Anytime you want to download this workbook, you go to this and click on this link, and sure enough, there's a whole sheet of I'm um, a whole page of all of the videos I have posted and all the workbooks available. Not only that, but for this series, you can always go to this website here and download not only the workbooks, but the actual book and uh, the printed version of this series, which is 144 pages, and it's free. All right, see you next video.